I'm going to do another video. And uh, this time, it's a little bigger. It's um, 13 inches this way and 15 that way. It's not a standard size, but you can cut it down if you want to. I'm going to try something I haven't done for quite a few years after I've been painting 70 years. Can you believe that? Not all the time like I'm doing now, but at least 50 years I've been really painting. And um, before that I was just into art and school and stuff. But I want to show you this technique. Uh, you might want to try it, you probably have maybe. This is an old technique. And uh, I'm going to start down in this corner with just a blue. And uh, put it on like this. And let me get a little bit of my orange. See that gives it a different value or different color. It's kind of almost like a green. I'm not going to go over in there yet. And uh, what I'm doing here, I want to show you what I'm going to do. I'm using my saran wrap. It's not very really saran wrap, it's a, it's, it's, it's a different brand of saran. But um, you take it out and you stretch it out like this. And you put it on, you just put it on there like this. See, it sucks up the paint. And uh, you can use a roller to make it roll more, but I'm just using it like this. You can stretch any way that you want. Pull this over here like this. leave it on there for a few minutes. Then I'm going to take this lilac and put it right over here like this. Down in here like this. And some more of my blue. I want to make this it's really light right here. Just kind of like that. Then I'm going to take off this paper and put it over there like that. It's better if you roll it with a roller. Let it sit there for few minutes. This didn't take out too good, but that's all right. You see, I use this. It's called Glad Cling Wrap. And uh, it's, you pull it out like this and you tear it off. That's where you know that. Then I'm going to put it some right there. You have to put it on when it's wet. But you can do something else. You can do this. You can take a brush and um, bring in maybe some darker colors. And you can lift up the edge, put the paint in there, and then bring in some water. Usually it will run down. Maybe some in here. These kind of things, you don't know how they're going to turn out. It's an experiment. I like to do this kind of stuff. And I hope you do this kind of stuff too. And I'm just going to make a few things like that. I have something sort of in mind. 
but I'm not going to uh, show you until I got to get this a little more down. Okay, I put some darker colors in, on the top there, and then you bring in your water like this, and it runs down into that area. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing right here, right in this one corner. You got to have a lot of water. You put the paint on, and then you got to bring in a lot of water and let it run. Then you can put this back over the top of that. You can do all kinds of things with this. I don't worry about those either. See, I did put it like this, and you come in here. If you roll it like this, Maybe bring that up there. Roll it like this. It does better. It's not much over there to roll. But you see, it, it kind of makes odd shapes. Sometimes it works better than others. But uh, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Well, this is drying. I wanted to tell her today that, but my memory verses. I I study the Bible all the time, and uh, today I'm <coughs> going to read some things for you. Um, and um, Psalms is being, or David is being chased by. A lot of people want to kill him. But he says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress. In verse 1, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. And you know, He is our strength. He is our high tower. When we have troubles, we just go you know, to our high tower in prayer and ask God to help us, to guide us. And Lord, you're my rock. You are solid and strong. You made the world. You made me. You made you. You made everything that's been made. And nothing's been made that has been made by God. Can you believe it? That God made everything you see in this world, including you and me. We are made in His image. And He just wants to, us to love Him. He come and died for our sins so we could love Him, be free of our sins, if we believe in Him and take Him into our heart. You know, there's nothing that makes one happier and joyful than to know that you're free from sin and that you're if you die this moment, you would be in a mansion in heaven forever and ever. Can you imagine that? I can hardly imagine. But I know one thing. 
I got an empty mansion up there, and it's waiting for me. And it's got a studio on it, and it's got all my supplies. I can paint the whole universe, which is so huge. I can go everywhere and paint everything I want. Just think. All this you can look forward to. I hope you know him today. If you don't, you better get ready, because he's coming soon. And you'll be left behind. And you don't want to be left behind in this world. It's getting so bad. People killing each other, hating each other. Everybody's fighting everybody. It's sad that we can't love one each other like you want us to. But dear Lord, you will someday. We will love each other in heaven. So uh, I guess that's enough of my preaching today. But I hope you listen to what I say. Take it to heart. It's I mean it with all my heart. I want you to love him. And I'm, that's why I'm making these videos for you. I thank you for watching them. Okay, let's see if this is dry enough now to take the paper off. Let's see what we have here. I want to be sure you see it. I, I got to fix so. I think you can see it. Okay. I take it at the top and I lightly pull it down. See, it's still wet. You should leave it overnight. But it gives you some texture. See? Now, if I made these darker, then it would have been heavier. But I don't. What I'm doing today with this is I'm taking my gold and uh, maybe a little orange, and I'm going to come right down like that. What I'm doing now is I'm playing around. I'm using my green. I'm, I'm making some corn. And you beat it. And it, it turns around like this, up here like this. Just shapes of corn. And then I up and bring this like this and have one come over here like this. See? And this one's this one's gonna go over here like this too. It's kind of design of corn. It's not Exactly, you know, kind of, kind of come to a point, and some of these small ones. Let's go It's this. Here's one. A couple of dogs. They don't always go crooked. Or straight, you know what I mean? Okay. Now, as usual, I'm going to just put a little tiny water on this. I lost my design back there, but do you understand? Um, when you do this, you got to do it at night more, and leave it set overnight to heavier colors. But I'm just showing you what you can do. And uh, 
and also this is a um, lavender. I'm going to bring that in here just to bring some pretty colors in here. This is lilac. It's beautiful. The corn is going to get smaller as it goes over here, like this. You can throw that out of the little brush you can. But I'm going to bring in some more of my gold and green and make a little orange down in here. Just bring in more color. Now, um, on the top of the corn, this is um, probably in the summertime. Um, they have little um, things like on the very top, and then they have little things coming like this. little tassels, you know, and uh, so I'm just kind of making a little abstract. But I'm going to bring in some reds. So I show up more. Here I just made it there, right in the, kind of in the background. Because I want it uneven, and um, I'm going to bring in some green now in here. Put some the, the little things like that, and it's the vents like that. It's, it's, up here. I'm going to use some of these same things in here. And down in here. This right here kind of bothers me. I'm going to bring in some purple, darker color right here. See? There's more shapes. If it's not roads out in the front, you can hear the noise. Well, you got big trucks. Finding it, they're filling in the holes. This is another big. And then I'm going to bring. thinking that I'm going to just 
leave that way up there and um, bring in some some colors like this it's different but you gotta try stuff you know you gotta try it and some red you know some green up in here maybe you gotta kind of have a shake it's kind of an aqua it's gonna come in. I think I get the hot on there like this, just lightly. Just, just kind of tie it together a little bit. See. Wet. I'm taking my palette knife. I'm going to say this. Especially where, where I want to break it up a little. this technique and I hope that you love the Lord today and I thank you for watching this you know I have a lot of my paintings on eBay even the paintings I do on videos I sell them real reasonable so that you can put them on your wall and enjoy them I don't I'm doing this for Jesus not for the fame or for money but for him and so today, I thank you for watching. And you can always leave comments on my... I'm going to try to do some close-ups. And you know, I have a hard time. As you can see... Some of the close-ups. I forgot to put this in a mat. You see? It, uh, it helps it to put a mat, it frames it, and, you, and then you can see more of what you've done. I always suggest when you do a painting that you put a mat behind, around it, or a frame, so it encloses the whole painting. And it, I think it looks better. I think it's it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But you see how you can do it with this cling wrap. I could probably put it on the cling wrap on here now that it's wet, and that would bring more different colors. But um, you can just play around with it anyway. And it gives you a nice shape, but it's best to leave it at night. Thank you very much.